Hello, today we're going to talk about how to set up a GCP cloud function. So to start off, I'm in my TechSnips demo project, and I'm going to go to the top left navigation menu and go down to cloud functions. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a function. And up here in the name, we can call it whatever we want, but it's important to know that this is going to be our endpoint. So if you see down at URL, my URL for this function right now is US Central One TechSnips Demo dot cloud functions dot net slash function one. If I change that to hello world, then that changes the endpoint I have to hit. That's only in the case for HTTP functions. If we do something like a cloud pub sub, which is going to ask us which topic we want this to subscribe to, or a cloud storage event if we want to add or remove files from a GCP bucket, they're going to have different triggers. But for this demo, I'll use HTTP. And we have a couple of different options as to how to get code up here. We can either zip it up and upload it, or put it in a cloud storage bucket, or a cloud source repository, which is Google's flavor of Bitbucket or GitHub. Next, we have to choose our runtime, and in this case, it's Node.js, but there's a couple of different ones here, including Python, Go, and a couple of more in beta right now. I'm going to go ahead and stick with Node.js 8. Now, I don't like how this zooms on the page, but they do give you an option to expand an editor window here. So let's just take a look at this code really quick. On line seven, it's just taking a request and a response in. And on line eight, it's saying if there's a message at the end of the request or a body of the request with a message tag in it, use one of those for the message. Otherwise, just define it as hello world and respond with a 200. So let's go ahead and close that. We can also, if we expand this down here, decide which region we want to run this in. If we want it to time out after a certain amount of seconds, run it with a service account, giving it uh, different levels of permissions, or connect it to a VPC and allow it to execute on a private IP address. So as always, do your research, make sure that whatever you're doing fits your use case. I'll go ahead and hide that for now because I don't need any of that for my demo, and I'll click Create. All right, our function's been created. If we select this and click on Show Info Panel, we'll see the labels that are associated with this and even be able to add some more. We'll also see the permissions that it has. Let's close that for now and go over to Test Function. So here we have a, a blank testing pane here. We see we can send in a JSON response or just test the function as is. So if we run that, we get hello world. But if we decide we want to add in a message, so here my message is hi tech snips. And when I test the function, I get back hi tech snips. So that's the message in the body of the request. If you go here to trigger, we can also see the URL itself. If we open that up, we can see there's hello world. So here's the URL for my cloud function. If I add in a message equals hi tech snips. It returns hi tech snips. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.